hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of after effects and simple tricks and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy course link is available in the description and if you are new to this channel then as always please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call it as main animation like always, width is 1920, height is 180 and frame rate we are going to choose 30 and duration is 10 seconds long and background color is white color and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now first thing first we will select our pen tool over here and we don't need any fill. So I delete this fill and I am going to choose stroke and stroke color choose complete black and hit ok and from here to here i'm going to create one stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose 10 pixels now select this shape layer press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it uh, vertically like this now press y on your keyboard to select pen behind tool zoom in a little bit and let's move this anchor point properly at the center zoom in a little bit like this over here then make this fit yep now after that we are going to select our ellipse tool i don't need any stroke so let's delete this and for the fill i'm going to choose black color hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab to go to the align tab and choose align vertically press t for opacity and decrease the opacity a little bit so we can see through this and we will move this over here like this and increase the opacity again now let's make this fit now select this layer hit enter and let's call it as ellipse select this layer hit enter and let's call it as stroke like this now select both the layers and convert these layers into 3d like this now select this ellipse and make it apparent with this stroke layer like this okay like that so if you select this and then hit ctrl d to duplicate it and bring this over here like this so now select the stroke press r for rotation and let's make the rotate it on minus 180 degree like this okay now select the stroke and this stroke press r for rotation create one keyframe at y position keyframes then go to around two second and over here instead of 180 degree i'm going to make it at let's say 180 so initially it's minus 180 and at this point it's plus 180 same procedure we will follow for over here we will select this we will go over here and we need to rotate it on this axis so let's make this 360 degree complete so if you see this now we will get this kind of rotation like this if you want then you can select this and you can move this to four second like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now over here we need to do certain rotation stuff for this ellipse also so select this ellipse press r for rotation we can rotate it on y rotation let's see, create one keyframe at y rotation over here like this go over here at last and let's make this 360 degree so if you see over here we will get a little bit weird stuff so instead of that let's do one thing we will make it minus 360 and let's see so we will get this kind of stuff over here okay same procedure we need to follow for this ellipse also select this press r for rotation and now create one keyframe at y rotation go to the last keyframe and let's make this minus 360 so if you see we will get something like this okay now select all the layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as rotation animation and hit ok click on this icon and then click on this icon 
select this hit ctrl d press r for rotation and let's rotate it on z axis let's make this 90 degree okay like this if you go inside this hit u and as you guys can see my animation is ending over here like this so i'm going to alt click on the stopwatch and i'll type loop out expression over here let's copy this expression loop out by hitting ctrl c alt click over here and paste it okay so what will happen we will get this animation continuously so if you guys know uh, that this is four second long mm, animation okay so but i want some alternations so i'll go to around one second and i'll select this and i'll move this over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select both the layers hold alt and open square bracket trim this up to this go to the start and let's move them over here okay so we'll get something like this now select both the layers hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top go to this option and change the color of them to yellow select this rotational animation composition in project window and hit ctrl d select this both layers and by holding alt i'll replace them now go inside this rotational uh, stuff and we will select the strokes and we will hide them select those ellipse press s and let's change the scale to 50 or let's say 30 okay like this and if you hide this one over here we will get this animation over here now after that right click new and create one null object select this rotational animations which are in white uh, i mean yellow color make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation and we will rotate it on 45 degree like this okay now delete this null object now right click new and we will create one camera now over here in camera you have to check out the settings make sure the angle of view is 105 and simply hit ok so now if you see this stuff we will get this kind of proper depth now right click new and create one null object convert this null object into 3d select this camera and make it apparent with this null 2 select this null 2 press p for position and change the z position over here so if you see this now we will get something like this let's make this minus 450 so if you see we will get something like this okay now right click new and we will create one null object extra convert that null object into 3d if you want select all of this stuff and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation and you can rotate it on z axis like this now i'm going to rotate it on z axis only so i'll create one one keyframe at z and uh, if you see uh, properly our animation is going to be on in the form of loop at four second so four plus four is eight so i'll move this stuff up to eight second and at eight second i'm going to hit n okay so after eight second uh, as you guys can see animation is starting from the start and it's in the form of loop so at eight second over here z rotation i'm going to make it one complete rotation over here okay so this is uh, how we will get this stuff now after that we need to add some depth of field in this animation so what we can do for that you can simply select this hit uh, double a and enable this depth of field over here and increase the aperture value to 100 so you can see as you guys can see we have added the depth of field over here let's make this 300 and let's see what we will get we will get something like this okay so you can change the focus distance according to your needs so initially my focus distance should be over here and let's change this to 250 aperture create one keyframe at focus distance and let's go somewhere around four second uh, or let's say somewhere around over here and increase the focus distance from here to here let's go somewhere around two seconds or maybe over here then again create uh, one keyframe over here select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v go to around eight second copy the first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select this keyframes and let's move them over here so if you see this now we will get this depth of field over here and over here 
okay so this is how you will get something like this then if you want then you can go inside this uh, over here as you guys know that we have uh, only ellipse and not stroke so you can go inside this you can select this strokes and you can simply delete them we don't need that oops sorry we don't we need that because they are parents with this one over here and you can adjust the size according to your needs uh, over here it's totally up to you uh, let's make this 20 maybe 20 should be good like that okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation which is in the form of loop inside of after effects